And so we got to get beyond blame to solutions. And what I'm going to do today, I hope, is give you a breath of fresh air. I'm going to share, in the 12 minutes that I have left, two specific solutions that I believe will transform Long Island's economy. And they are achievable, they are doable, we cannot fail because they've been done before. Now, I'm going to share these solutions based on my read of history. I will never, some of you have heard me say this, I have never claimed to be the smartest member of Congress, although if you listen to my colleagues, you know the competition ain't that stiff. But I love history. I'm guided by history. And if you want to know how we secure the future and build a prosperous economy, here's what you should do. Don't listen to my speech. Don't take my word for it. You have my permission to zone out over the next 11 minutes. Do this. When you leave this lunch, make a left on Jericho Turnpike. Richard heard me talk about this here about three weeks ago. Make a left on Jericho Turnpike. Take it to Route 110. Make a right on Route 110. Go past the newly expanded Walt Whitman Mall. Keep going. Go under the Northern State. Go past the LIE. Keep going. Past the new Cannon headquarters. Go past my district office at 534 Broad Hollow Road. Keep going and you will be in the center, the center of economic power on Long Island, the Route 110 corridor. And I want you to remember something. 75 years ago, the Route 110 corridor was potato fields and pumpkin, uh, potato farms and pumpkin fields. That's what Long Island's economy was. We were a farm economy. Now what happened from potato farms and pumpkin fields to the 110 corridor as it is now? What happened was World War II. 75 years ago, Long Island, an agrarian economy, saw the challenge of an existential threat to the survival of the United States of America and rose to that challenge and made the Route 110 corridor the defense capital of America. We researched, we developed, we engineered, we organized, we mobilized, we manufactured, we harnessed two universities, we harnessed an airport, engineering firms, research firms, and we built from potato farms and pumpkin fields the defense capital of America, right on the Route 110 corridor. And then after World War II, when we came back from Europe and Japan, we looked across the black expanse of space and looked at the moon and said, we can go there too. And we landed on the moon from Long Island. NASA did not land man on the moon. Long Islanders landed man on the moon. And we did it from this community. So we know that we have the tools and the skills and we have the vision. And I want to use that history to create a future.